Art? Yep, we'll show some art. So the new human class is called the Shield Bearer. There he is. He is not a melee class, despite what it looks like. Those are throwing weapons. Um, so the whole design of the Shield Bearer is to have a human that's a little more defensive than the average human, um, but he's not supposed to just be in melee hacking and slashing with vampires. You need to be pretty accurate with those nasty throwing weapons. They stick in people's foreheads. It's pretty awesome. We'll see it in just a second. Uh, critically, you know, the big the elephant in the room is his shield. It's in his name. It's in the concept. The mechanic that we have right now, and this will go under iteration in the next month and when we go live, is that he has a blocking mechanic on right mouse. So instead of aiming like other humans, you can put your shield up in a blocking stance and it will heavily reduce the damage that you take from that direction. But it has limits. Like if a tyrant is beating the shit out of you, you can't just turtle all day. It'll, he'll break through your guard eventually. You know, that's what we're figuring out right now is how that's communicated, what the balance numbers on that are. But basically a limited time shielding mechanic and potentially blocking things like even pounces mm -hmm. if you're ready for it. That's something we're playing with right now. Uh, the ultimate question everyone asks is, can you block a charge? Right now, no. We were talking about maybe an explosion should happen when an unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Right. Because that's Hulk Hogan under the giant. Exactly. But right now, the tyrant charge still trumps everything. But you can block most other attacks. So uh, it's it's pretty cool. It changes up the meta a good amount. And the trade-off is uh, because they're throwing weapons, you don't have the range other classes do. So while you're not a melee class, you're also not going to be sniping from across the map unless you do one of those like amazing Call of Duty knife throws that you see in a replay yeah. <laughs> that happens from 400 yards away. And that's a challenge. When, once he comes out, we want to see someone do that and yep. upload it, and yep. we'll, we'll highlight it on our stream when it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is an alternate skin. Um, yeah, I love this one. The shield is amazing. This one's pretty cool. Jason did a great job on this one. Lots, a lot of compliments uh, for the team uh, and the way the character looks yeah. in the in the chat. So thank you very much. I, I can I can promise you they appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, Broloff is, is, <laughs> is uh, one of the, the. Why didn't we think of Broloff? That's pretty good. I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's from League of Legends. That's I don't care. We just, you don't right, care. Fair enough. It's good. Uh, Jason, I love you is uh, from Lancer Vet. I think that that that's a nice sentiment. So mm -hmm. have, have we got it working? So. We have more. Here is the shield bearer in action. Yeah. Sorry. Now, <laughs> just to let you know, this is in a white box. It's not in an actual yeah. level, and he's. It's like our summer last time, where there's Lift a lot of stuff we're working up. on. Also, a special thanks to uh, Chris Melee. He's uh, one yeah. of our programmers, and he's. He's playing as the guy getting murdered. He's the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna see some skills. Um, so obviously, you know, we talked about the weapon. They're basically throwing axes. This one's called a comma. Actually, uh, look it up. K A M A. Um, shield block we can look at in a second. And uh, he's using this is shield bash that he's got loaded out with. It's the default ability. It's a short range stung, uh, stagger. So if you're trying to attack him in melee, he can damage and stagger you backwards. And his F power that he's default with is tentatively called Rousing Cry. And it's basically like an inspirational team buff. Uh, so he slams his shield in the ground. You see him light up blue. Uh, everyone nearby gets not only a health regen buff, but also a movement speed buff. So uh, if you're sort of digging in with your team, you can pop it and everyone will regen some health as you do it. How do you think that he's going to change the way that people uh, play against humans as vampires? How do you, how do you think he's going to to change the strategy? Uh, I mean, from what we've seen, it really just makes you rethink a little bit your attack strategy with shield bearers. You know, um, because the other classes don't have a strict defensive mechanic, there's never much decision making about like, oh, you know, he's looking at me right now, but I'm going to pounce him anyway, or mm -hmm. oh, I'm just going to stab him in the face. He actually makes you approach him a little bit more tactically, and we think that's interesting. Um, and Mark is now defiling his corpse. Um, <laughs> So uh, it's an interesting mechanic. We'll see what it actually does. You know, like I said earlier, I, I picture that he's going to be used completely differently than we could ever intend. So we'll see what happens and we'll balance around it. Now, for folks that are um, that are mentioning, I'm not sure if you're mentioning the damage that you're seeing from the weapons 
in the game, or if uh, you're referring to another class, I think you're referring to our shield bear here. These are all temp damage numbers, yeah. right? These, these you shouldn't read into. He does not the actually values. have a hundred thousand health. It's, yeah. That's not obvious. Uh, we're fiddling with the damage on the throwing weapon. It's important that the rate of fire is not that fast, and it, you know, it's not that accurate at range. So, just because he's doing 200 damage per hit doesn't mean he's going to be, again, sniping you from across the map. So. Humans also should have some kind of execution or finisher. Uh, we're working on something like that, but it's not going to be quite the same thing. Yeah, we're still deciding all the specifics of that one, but we definitely have plans to add some kind of cool human animation feature. Yeah, so um, if you missed our mention of it earlier in the show, the, the few times uh, we are going to be uh, posting regular roadmaps as, as to what content we're working on so yeah. everyone can stay up to date as to uh, what our plans are for our next content, rough release windows, and specific mm -hmm. release windows when we have them. So anything that you could imagine that you want in the game or may uh, not be in the game, you'll be able to check that and reference that and uh, start look for that starting next week. Um, Don't any mind the deaths. We're suiciding. Yeah. Suicide doesn't play death correctly. Yeah, remember, this is all within a... Uh, a testing environment. This yeah. is not meant to be... So Mark's showing off his melee attack. It's sort of a horizontal yeah, sure. slash with the throwing weapon. It's going to be a little bit stronger than the default human melee, but not to the point where you can just 1v1 a vampire with it. It should be obvious. So for I, th I think we have a different ability to show the shield charge. You want to equip that one? Let us know when you get. Uh, so I, Mark's going to show off. A, it's an alternate for Q slot called Shield Charge. Uh, the trade-off is you c you can't use it as often as the Shield Bash, but it makes you sort of race across the level and knock the hu the vampire down. That's something we're playing with too. The knockdown may be OP. Um, I know our tyrant player Morgan hates it and <laughs> yells at me every time I use it. Um, but critically, it's really good for saving teammates in a team fight because you, you can close the gap really quickly and knock somebody off of them. So it's pretty satisfying to use. And we've seen a couple questions asking uh, more uh, information about the shield bear Boom. in general. Um, <laughs> the, we're using this as a tease as well, so you ignore yeah. the temp stuff. Uh, <laughs> next, on Monday, we're going to have a more in-depth blog on this that goes into mm -hmm. the complete lore of the character. It's going to have uh, even more uh, skins, so you can take a look at all of them. Um, so it's a good reason to check the blog on Monday. Uh, I like the skin, the ultimate yeah. skins for this character. Me too, I love them. Particularly uh, a certain one that has Jack in the name. <laughs> when you see that one, you guys will see what I'm talking about. But all the more reason to visit on Monday. Also, um, for folks who are curious when this is coming out, uh, we don't have an exact date on this one like we do with Summoner, but we do have a rough yeah. estimate. Yeah, we're thinking, trying for f sometime in February, probably later. But yeah, maybe like a month, six weeks type yeah. of thing. It just it really just depends on if everything's going smooth with the rest of the game and the summoner comes out on time, it'll, it's more likely it'll be the next month. Cool. So hopefully uh, that clears up a lot of things for you guys. Yep. Um, and so now let's recap. We've covered a lot of stuff on the show. Yep. Uh, the first thing we did is we let everybody know that 